Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat, where today we'll be unboxing and having a first look at the Asus ZenPad S 8.0. But unfortunately, I have a confession to make. This is a review sample, very kindly sent to me by Asus themselves, or is it Asus? I should probably say that correctly. But unfortunately, this has already been opened and uh, there's no fancy cellophane plastic on the device that I can peel off in a very satisfying way. So let's not waste any more time and get it out of the box and take a look at what we've got going on. So here we are, this is the Asus ZenPad, if I can get it out. If we uh, put the tablet to one side, you can see in the box we have a uh, the plug and the cable. But interestingly, uh, already this is a USB 3 type C cable because uh, the tablet supports it. So uh, this is reversible, this is uh, fast data transfer, fast uh, quick charging, uh, so that is excellent to see. Especially on what is relatively a budget tablet uh, that came out a fair few months ago, around August, September 2015. So, seeing a uh, USB Type-C, if I can find the uh, port wherever it is, uh, it's so thin, <laughs> there we are. Uh, there we are, that's a USB Type-C, so that's great to see already. Uh, but that's pretty much everything in the box. Uh, so let's put that to one side. And here it is, the Zenpad S 8.0. Now it's worth mentioning this is the S version, you can get the cheaper, uh, slightly more uh, budget version Zenpad uh, 8.0 as well. This S version is significantly better though, even before I review it and show it off to you guys, because I do actually have, if I go grab to one side, the other uh, Zenpad, not the Zenpad S here. Uh, so this is the cheaper one, this is the more expensive one. I'll be doing a full comparison between them in a different video, uh, but it is worth mentioning this is the nicer, slightly fancier, uh, high resolution, faster, more powerful one. Uh, and it's a little bit more expensive as well. But uh, you can check out my unboxing and review of this on my channel very soon as well. So back to the Zenpad S, this is extremely thin and light. I'm a big fan of this uh, design as well. It's sort of like a brushed metal effect on the back. It's very thin. Uh, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the uh, 2013 Nexus 7, but like a step up from that, like an even more premium version from that. I'm actually really impressed with this so far from just, just basically holding it. It's uh, very comfortable to use. These bezels are uh, beautifully thin. I think the uh, screen to body ratio is about 74%, so that's very, very high, uh, particularly for a tablet. So the overall size is actually quite compact for the 8 inch screen that we're getting. So I'm going to set this up and get to the home screen so we can have a bit of a chat about this nifty looking Android tablet. So there we are, we're on the home screen and the first thing you can see is how beautiful that display looks. I know it's a colourful background uh, but this is actually a very impressive screen. It's a 2048 by 1536 resolution IPS display so uh, we get pretty good viewing angles. This isn't the best uh, uh, place to do it because I do have some quite bright studio lighting in here, but uh, this is uh, IPS It's very very nice very rich colors good viewing angles um, Even though it is a relatively budget uh, tablet certainly if we compare it to say the iPad mini Gorilla Glass 3 is protecting the display, but inside in terms of specs We've got the uh, Intel Z3560 which is clocked at 1.8 gigahertz alongside 2 gigabytes of RAM in this model It's also got 32 gigabytes of storage inbuilt as well as a micro SD port that uh, supports expandable memory in terms of the battery size It's 4,000 milliamp hour battery which should last about 8 or 9 hours We've also got an 8 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front camera in terms of Android this is running uh, well, let me check for you, see if there's any updates, but I believe it's just Android 5 Lollipop. Uh, so let's see if there's any uh, updates we can do at this point. This is uh, in February 2016. Nope, no new updates, so uh, Android 5 as you can see there. So not the latest, not Android 5.1 uh, or even Marshmallow yet, unfortunately, but uh, still pretty recent and that will do. You can get this in black or white. As you can see, this is the black one, which I think is actually very smart looking. I do like this uh, brushed aluminium effect. If I can get it to the light, you can see that's very... Uh, very snazzy, very premium looking, it's a quite professional looking tablet. I'm also really impressed just with the build quality and the sort of the size of it. It's, it's 8 inches as I say, but it's only uh, 317 grams and 6.9 millimeters thin. So it's very, very thin and light and very comfortable to use even one-handed. You can see, even though the screen is a bit big obviously to use one-handed, it's light enough, it's thin enough uh, that I can comfortably use it in that uh, way. Perhaps if I'm watching a movie or reading something on the internet, I can just use it like that and then sort of just scroll perhaps with my other hand. Around the device, we've got a 3.5 millimeter jack on the top for your headphones. We've got uh, the volume rockers and power button on the right hand side. On the base we've got the uh, USB 3 type C connector which is uh, great to see, it's very very advanced. And on the uh, left side I think it is, yeah left side we have the micro SD port so you can expand the storage. So just flicking around the home screen opening things up we've got uh, clearly Asus is his own sort of software skin on top of Android here but it looks uh, fairly nice, it's not too uh, cheap looking or cartoony like some of the uh, Android skins you can get and uh, everything seems pretty fast so far as you can see. This is 
running an Intel chip, so it'll be interesting to run some benchmarks in the full review, which I will be doing of this in a few days. But what's really struck me is just how light and premium it looks and feels. I'm really, really impressed with this. It's uh, a very, very nice looking tablet. I'm, uh, yeah, I definitely uh, do give this uh, points for style. And uh, actually, you know, it reminds me of the Galaxy Tab S2, which I used a couple of months ago uh, from Samsung, which is also a very uh, thin and light, very compact tablet. But I think even this looks and feels a bit more premium, a bit more high end than even that, because that was a bit plasticky. This is a bit more metallic in uh, style. So we're uh, very impressed with the uh, design, with the aesthetics of this. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, running it through its paces for my full review, and I'll be comparing it as well to the uh, cheaper Zen Pad. So as I say, this is the Zen Pad S 8.0. This is about 200 pounds or $200 uh, for this model. There's a few different ones available. This has two gigabytes of built-in uh, of RAM, uh, as well as uh, 32 gigabytes of storage. But you can, in the UK, get a slightly cheaper one for 170 pounds, uh, which also has two gigs of RAM, but only 16 gigabytes of storage. But of course, you can still expand it with the micro SD port. Uh, but in the US, I believe, or at least in other territories, there is a four gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte storage version, which costs a little bit more at about $250. So there are a few different variants you can buy depending on where you live. Uh, I'll link all the ones I can find in the uh, description below. So so I would say this competes with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 as well as the Apple iPad Mini, uh, but this is actually quite a bit cheaper than that, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how that compares. But uh, yeah, I know this hasn't been a uh, traditional unboxing in the sense that there's been nothing to uh, peel off and uh, uh, I've had to, uh, the box was already open, but so I apologize for that. But I hope you uh, appreciate this little uh, hands-on first impressions, first look at the Asus ZenPad S8.0. Do stay tuned to the tech chat for a full review. Uh, as well as a comparison with its cheaper ZenPad brother. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you again on the Tech Chat.